Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and I'm so glad you could join me here today. I have a really sweet little summer project to share with you using the Really Reasonable Ribbon um, July Ribbon Assortment. This is the Capri Blue Taffeta Ribbon from the um, Blue and Yellow Ribbon Mix and I just love this ribbon. It ties beautiful bows. And when I saw this ribbon, for some reason it made me think of two retired Graphic 45 collections. One was Mother Goose and the other was Home Sweet Home. And I couldn't decide which one of them to use, so I decided to use both of them. And I worked up this really cute um, little shaker um, folio. And this is a horizontal folio. It is um, about seven and an eighth inches wide and five and an eighth inches tall. And on the cover, I've layered up a bunch of the beautiful patterns from Mother Goose. I love the patterns in that collection. And these little um, chipboard flowers, um, Graphic 45 used to release flowers with a lot of their collections. And I, I made these up and combined these with some Wild Orchid craft flowers from that you can get a really reasonable ribbon. These are the Sweetheart Blossoms. And... Um, chipboards, some buttons from my stash, um, and then the shaker element. And I'll tell you very quickly how I made this. I used my Spellbinder large circle dies and I laid one die inside of another and die cut this frame from chipboard and then from designer paper. If I had it to do again, I would make it a little bit wider um, around the rim because it's just a little bit easier to place the adhesive behind it. And then I use that same circle die to cut the um, acrylic, clear acrylic cardstock. And then just filled it with some really pretty sequins. I love the sequins and the little beads and um, there's all kinds of goodies in there. Um, as you can see, this is a die cut doily <coughs> from Spellbinders. It's I don't remember the name of the die, but I will link it in the product um, list at the end of the video. So, on the ends, I used little ATC alpha tags to make a cute closure, and you just tie the ribbon through that, and then we'll open it up. It's quite simple on the inside, but really fun. Um, <clears throat> we have two full five by seven sections and then this little flap over here. And I get um, 20 inch long uh, cardstock from envelopes.com. Um, and I'll link that at the end too. Um, and this is black cardstock from there. And I just like that because it means you don't have to join cardstock, but if you needed to join eight and a half by 11 cardstock, you've seen me do that enough times with score tape that it wouldn't be a big deal. I have 3 8 inch um, spines that I've scored in and I turned this first little flap into a little pocket area. And I just put down a pocket, chipboard, and look, here's a cute idea. These, um, This little tab shape is almost in every Graphic 45 collection. Look at the cute pocket it makes. You just glue like a U along the sides and the bottom and you've got a darling little pocket that you can tuck these little seed packet stamps into. I just, that made me happy. And then just one of the tags and pockets from the collection. And then once again, I use scraps on my table just to make this little itty bitty photo folio. This would make, make a great gift card um, wallet too. And then just fold it an ephemera card in half and tucked it in the pocket. And again, the way I make these is just whatever scraps I have on the table, fold them in half, and then I just use another little piece of paper, wrap it around the liner paper, and there's your pocket. It's really simple, but they're so fun and they're so cute. So this flap comes out, and there's a flap page where you can add some journaling, and then another little wee pocket here, and again, I just glued this like a U to make a pocket. This is one of the images. Of course, these are from Home Sweet Home. And I love how well these two collections work together. Um, image from Home Sweet Home. 
This striped paper is from the 6x6. So if you've got old Graphic 45 laying around, this is a good way to use it up. It's a really fun summer project. We're, um, we have our garden for the second year in a row and our produce is starting to come in and it's really exciting. And I think that kind of inspired me to make this. This is um, Tim Holtz Sizzix watering can dye. And I did it on chipboard and then with designer paper and then just add the little extra piece here to dress it up. And then this is one of my box style pockets and I do have a tutorial um, for making these um, and I'll try to link that at the end of the video as well. Um, so in here I've created another little folio. I used one of the tags and pockets on the front just for a cute little tuck spot on the front of this um, little cut apart postcard. This is Mother Goose, but look, they really work together well. And then inside this, an ephemera card, and then a pocket just filled with cut aparts. And you could put pictures on the back of these, you could journal on the back of these. There's room to tuck more photos in the pocket. Um, you could tuck photos in the box pocket. These will hold a lot. And then I just tucked in an ephemera card. And here's another little way that I used up scraps. This is just um, two and three eighths inches wide, but I had this long strip left from cutting. So I um, just scored it and then folded lined it with papers, just little scraps. These are each like two and three eighths inches wide by two and seven eighths inches tall. So these are just little scraps. I'd much rather use them than put them away. I don't like to clean up but that. I clean up all the time, but it's not my favorite thing. It has a little magnetic closure. And then I just made this cute little belly band with chipboard and natural burlap string to dress it up a little bit and the little charm just hangs down. That's the central, the center box pocket. And then over here is a little waterfall feature. And we've talked about waterfalls a million times, so I won't go into a huge amount of detail, but basically I cut my paper four and a half inches wide by five inches tall, and I just cropped the corners with a corner chomper. The I think this is the stub um, corner chomper. And then just scored the half inch and lined everything up. And look at all the photos you can get in here. So that's really good. And then this small um, cut apart from Mother Goose. And these papers are from both Home Sweet Home and Mother Goose. Isn't that fun? Who knew they worked together so well, but I think they look great. So this little postcard pocket, pull this out. Again, this was just a little scrap on my table. Cropped out the corners, lined it with other little scrap pieces, added a chipboard on top, and you've got a really cute little tag to tuck in this pocket. So that's my fun garden themed summer shaker top folio made with really reasonable ribbon and Graphic 45. I hope I shared some tips and tricks. Stay tuned, there are detail photos um, and links to products. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join me here. And if you enjoyed this, please leave me a comment. I always reply, your comments really make my day. Thank you so much for joining me and I'm gonna go get my craft on.